Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the DX Engineering production facility. I want to give you guys a quick tour of the new RF2K-S amplifier. We are working really hard with uh, Reinhardt in Germany to, to get these out to you. And I'll give you a little bit of a demonstration. We've been playing with this for, for a little while, working with him on the software and the hardware and just getting everything going. So as you can see, right now the amplifier is actually on the 80 meter band. You can see up there the frequency. And we're on the 160 meter band. We're in operate. This is 40 watts of drive. And I'm not going to do anything. There's no cat control. This is all frequency sensing. And we key up this radio. Band switches to... 160 and we've got 1500 watts out we switch the band now to 40 meters key up the amp up oh, 1500 watts out also at 40 watts in we're going to go now to uh 20 meters key up 1500 watts out and I don't know if my microphone's picking it up, but the uh, fans have kicked on on the amplifier, and it is really pretty quiet. I mean, I, I can barely hear them just sitting here. Um, one of the things, it will do 6 meters at 40 watts out, uh, or 40 watts in. Uh, it takes a little more drive on 6 meters. But there, we QS wide, and we've got 700 watts. So if we key up, we've got 700 watts. And we can crank it up to a thousand watts right there. And uh, for right now, with the tuner and stuff that we have, that's the uh, the limit is about 1.1 kW um, on the amp, and that was with 61 watts of drive. So we'll go back now to uh, 21 megahertz. Key up. This meg this band actually does pretty well. So here we've got 1600 watts. You know, this amplifier will definitely put out the power. And, I mean, that's key down, guys. I mean, there's 1,800 watts key down. And you can hear the fans starting to kick up just a little bit. We're up to uh, 49 degrees. But watch this with those fans. Watch how fast this temperature comes down. Coming right back down. We've actually got a little uh, Raspberry Pi to key this for us. And we did an FT8 test where we did about... 13, 13 point some seconds on and about 17 seconds off to give you that FT8 duty cycle and ran this for six hours on multiple bands and the temperature never climbed above about 55 degrees Celsius. So like I said, we're working on getting this out to you guys as fast as we can. We're trying to make sure that it's right, but it is putting out power. 73s from DX Engineering.